All right, it is movie review time again, and I recently took the opportunity to watch the new movie, Drive Away Dolls. Now, Drive Away Dolls is the story of two friends who have uh, had some, uh, one of them had some relationship issues, and so they've decided that they're going to take a trip, kind of get away from where they're at, and they're going to go to Tallahassee, Florida. And they get this car to drive to Tallahassee, and what they don't realize that there is a mix-up. The car that they get is supposed to go to Tallahassee, but it's not meant for them. It's meant for some people who have nefarious goings-on. And so they don't know what's in the vehicle, and, of course, they make their trip, and the uh, people who have the nefarious goings-on are trying to, of course, recover the items in the vehicle, and that is the crux of the story. Now, this movie is directed by Ethan Cohen, who is the younger brother of Joel Cohen, who together have made such uh, hits as No Country for Old Men, Fargo, and this time he is taking this route alone. Now, he does have a writing partner um, for the script, but it is not his brother. And to me, this movie just does not live up to the previous work that he has been involved in. I don't know exactly, you know, I don't know if it's because he doesn't have his brother's writing partner. I, I'm just not sure. It's very similar in the sense that there is a lot of talking. Now, there's nothing wrong with movies like this. I mean, the movies like Fargo, No Country for Old Men, Pulp Fiction, movies like that, you know, there's a lot of talking. And just because there's a lot of talking, it still drives the movie along. But I don't know. I didn't feel it worked quite as well in this. This is also supposed to be a comedy. I just didn't find much of it very funny. The actresses who played the two main characters, I thought they did a good job of what they had. But it also had some other bigger names, such as Matt Damon and Colin Domingo. And I don't know. I just didn't think their parts were strong as they could have been for actors of their statue. And then the other thing that really, really did it in for me was the ending. And I was like, what? This is uh, this is what we've come up with. Um, another thing, and it's not a huge issue, but it clocks in under 90 minutes. And if you take the credits out, it's even shorter. And I'm like, um, you know, you didn't even do a full 90-minute movie this is not good. So I'm going to give Drive Away Dolls one out of five stars.